Hey everybody, I'm back for um, part two of the sterling video that I did yesterday or early this morning. And um, I also have a new spotlight showcase. And at the end of this video, I will give the instructions on the giveaway. So that will come up at the very end of the video. So what I have here is there are four necklaces and three pairs of earrings. These were all in the um, blue box that I got. So I'm just thrilled. Okay, this is four necklaces and three pairs of earrings. This set right here, and I'll show them to you individually, is $30 plus shipping, so it'd be about $34, $35. So what we've got here is bar Bobble Bar, and it's a gold tone. Never been worn. And they're just too cute. Then we have Dana Buckman. And these are from Kohl's for 18. They were on sale, I think it said seven or half price probably. These are darling. These don't look like they've been worn. I put I had to put another back on this because it didn't have one. So they don't match, but all I have was a little plastic ring thing on it. These are so cute. The pinks and the golds. Just beautiful. Next, we have Ellen Mann, and these are just too sweet. Now, it says $17.99. These were Target, and you know, Target, back in the day, their stuff used to be pretty expensive. But this is pretty. It's got kind of um, blue, light blue, a almost AB stones, and then the purplish blue. Up there, aren't those pretty? Okay, next is Origami Owl. And what we have here is, on the inside you have Mom. And I think it's got um, a flower and some little diamonds. If I can find my glasses. Yes, it says, Mom, there's a flower. Oh, and there's little pink, tiny little pink rhinestones. This would be nice for somebody for Mother's Day. And, of course, these things like this, I'll try to put in a box for you. These I'll put in plastic bags. Um, this is a faux pearl, but it's hand-knotted in between. It's that beautiful pink, light, light pink. It has this neat little closure here. Isn't that cool? I don't have a, let me see, a maker mark on that. And it closes up really nice. Then next we have this gorgeous, I mean, it is spectacularly shiny. Vintage. Beautiful, liquidy. Little faux pearls go down, and it is three strands, and it's gorgeous. Then the fourth one is a little Y necklace. It is gold tone. It looks really nice. Um, let's see here. Yeah, this is too cute. Comes down. It's just gorgeous gold tone. Looks like it's never been worn. So this um, showcase spotlight is thirty plus five dollars for shipping, or four, whichever it is. I'll just charge you the sh actual shipping, not five dollars. So I'll go ahead and put these over to the side real quick. Welcome to Monique's Jewels, everybody that's new. Um, I'd love to have you subscribe. I would love to see a thumbs up from you guys if you're enjoying my video or my videos. And um, we're trying to grow, joke, I can't even talk. We are trying our best to grow the channel, we being me. 
and um, I'm kind of stuck right at three, what is it? 336, 337. Sometimes it goes down, sometimes it goes back up. Um, I'm doing this so they don't get tangled. And then I'll put them in containers that are, you know, nice looking either boxes or bags to send. Um, whoever says they want this first will get it. Showcase spotlight. Let's get this out of the way here. Okay, so we have some new pieces. I will put these out. Um, let's see here. This way I can do it quicker. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? Now, most of these I've purchased myself. Um, oh, that's the one. Okay. I got to see about I want to sell it, but it, the pearl is not very good on it. Okay, this goes with earrings, so I'll put this over here. Where's the other one? Then we have this beautiful Y necklace. That is liquid silver. Let's see what else have we got over here. Come here, come here. This would be a good Mother's Day present. Hold on. Get it off of here. Come on, come on, dear. Now it's tangled. These get tangled so quick. Okay. This is just beautiful. This is actually sterling. There's that. Let's see the little flowers. That's pretty. And then the purple butterfly. And then we have, let's see, those two are just ch chains. This one is. A circle. It's it's nice. It's kind of old old style. Old style. Old style. So I'll put her right here. She's on a teeny tiny little. Oh, what kind of chain that is? But it's awfully. It's very pretty. Um. Let's see what else I've got up here. I've got a chevron. Let me see here. I'm going to leave these here. I've got an onyx. Come on. Got an onyx there. I have a tiny little cross that's very pretty. It is vermeil, but it's, it's kind of losing a little bit of its gold, but it's not too bad. It's a little mother of pearl cross that is sideways. The chevron, chevron is very, very precious. Let's put it right there. Okay. So first we're gonna start with, let's make sure there's nothing else here. Oh, we still have this. And we still have the anchor that I think is just darling. Okay. First thing we're going to start with is measure this, and I will give you a weight. Like I said, even though we are not, I am not doing this for scrapping. Make sure it's on, yes, grams. Okay, this first one is a very long bracelet. It's not long enough to be an anklet. It is exactly nine inches. It's that twisted rope. Or, yeah, it really is kind of like a twisted rope or a Singapore, twisted Singapore. With a darling 925 dolphin. It is. It's 
saying negative. <laughs> Let's don't. It's saying three grams. So for this pretty guy, I'm going to put, let's put 14, no, let's put $12 on him. The dolphin, nine inch. The next one is very sweet. It's almost like an ID bracelet. There's nothing written. It's an open heart. It is... So it kind of shows your skin a tiny bit. This is right at six and let's see, six and three quarter. This is closer to six and a half. I'll give you a weight on it here. It's right at two grams. And this, but this is a little more substantial, and I think it would last. Um, I'm going to put 15 on it, the ID-looking bracelet. The next one is 18 inches. It has these little kind of like paste rhinestones. It's really cute, but it is 925. I'm not sure if it's got a maker name or anything on it. Oh, 925 AU, which is Australia, and a copyright. That's cool. And then it doesn't say. It just says 925 on the chain. So I'll show you the close up again. And it is 18 inches. I'm going to put 16 on that just because I would like someone to have it. I think it's really, really pretty. Pink and purple butterfly with the leaf. Very pretty. Okay, next we have one of the quivering rhinestone pendants. Very pretty. Um, this has a smaller chain on it. It is 16 inches. Um, no, it's not. It's longer. It's almost 18 inches. It just needs cleaned, the chain itself. This doesn't, this is beautiful. So when you're, if you've got it on your neck, it kind of beats like when your heart beats. So this one is 20. It's just darling. The pennant itself is right at one inch. Yes. It has a little CZs all around it. I don't believe these are real stones. And they're so hard to tell. Let me put it down. It seems to be easier. I can't tell. It says they're little diamond chips, but that's all right. We'll just put 20 on it. I don't think that's a big deal. This baby is darling. It is a butterfly. This has little rubies, faux rubies, whatever you want to call it, in the top. They look pretty real. And then we have the um, two purple stones there. It has a very nice chain on it. I do believe that that is a tiny little box chain. Yep, it's a little box chain. It's just darling, shiny. And this is almost 18 inches. It's about 17 and a half, 17 and three quarters. So I'll put 22 on that just because it's kind of unusual. And if those rubies are real, that should make it a little bit more than some of these other ones. Now, this is just a little circle pendant that is sterling. This is just a little link chain here. All of this is 925. Let me weigh it for you. 
turn it back on. The necklace is about 19, almost 20 inches. And it weighs three grams. And we'll put, I'll show it to you. Since it's not real fancy, but it's classic, very classic. Let's put 15 on it. Very pretty. Next, we have liquid silver. I'll show you. It is not magnetic at all anywhere, not even the barrel clasp. It has um, what I think are garnets. It's very pretty. These are very sketchy. They are a reddish purple. <laughs> Not real sure, guys. When you're in this heavy duty light, it's hard to tell. But they're kind of a reddish purple. Probably the cross between a garnet <laughs> and an amethyst. No, I don't know. I'm not sure, but they are stones, little stones. This is 16 inches. And that is just beautiful. So we'll put 13, let's see, let's put 12 on this one. It's very pretty. The next one is just gorgeous. It has what I do believe are, let me look real close. I think they're lapis. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's lapis. If I could see some of the... Let me look. I'll make sure it's a stone and not a faker. Yeah. I see where there's some something coming off. But it is totally sterling. Um, just that one has a little bit of the uh, coating coming off. So I think it's probably, I think this is totally sterling and these are just coated in the blue. Um, yeah. So it's sterling um, and it's pretty and it's a Y and it is 15 and a half inches. So we'll just put 12 on that, but it's, um, you know, it's four grams, so it's not teeny tiny. Next, we have this beautiful onyx. And I mean, it is gorgeous. There is, I thought there was something on this bell. Hold on here. I could have sworn. This is heavy duty. <laughs> this is the older piece. I did not clean it yet. Because I thought, you know, it's old. Let's show it kind of like it is. This says, I knew it says something in the bell. 925 Mexico. The chain is very pretty. The shine on it is gorgeous. And it's just a little plain chain, but it is 925. And look at this. 925 Mexico. It needs to be cleaned. It's a heavy, heavy piece. I do believe it's onyx. I don't know. I can't tell if it's cold or not. Well, I don't know. Let me look at it with the loop. To me, it looks like a stone. But we'll um, take that into consideration on the price. This is 12 grams. I don't think that the onyx is as heavy as, as the setting is. So let's put 25 on that. It's just beautiful. Next, we have this little tiny Vermeer. She is, let's see, 15 and a half, almost 16. Just cute as can be. 
we will put eight on her. She's tipping the scale at nothing? No. It says two gram. Okay. And then we have the chevron, which is going to be light. But it's really, really pretty. It is... It says N95 China. And... I do not know. These stones are really tiny. I do not know. Oh, God. That scares me when I do that. I don't like that. Yep, yeah, they could be. And there are holes on this side. To let the light through. The chain is gorgeous. It's real, real dainty and shiny. And it's got like a vintage clasp on it. It says, let's see. Let's see anything written. Let me check this side. Hmm. Yep, I didn't see anything. So. That's just a little ring in there, but yeah, it's it's definitely sterling. And like I said, it's light. It's right at two grams. So let's put fifteen on the chevron because it's just lightweight, but it's gorgeous. Did I tell you guys how long it was? It is, it's probably almost 19 inches. Next is the anchor, just darling. It is right at 16 inches with a nice little extender. The necklace part is definitely 925. It is 925. Um, says something here. M something. MJ. I think this is um, marked. Okay. I don't know. It's got a maker mark name on it. I think it's 925 Thailand is what I'm thinking, but um, it might not be, but I know it's 925. Okay, the anchor itself doesn't say anything too much, you know what I mean, as far as a um, mark or anything. It's definitely 925. The only reason why it's lifting at all is that little clasp in there. But otherwise, everything's good. So this little baby is probably... Two grams also, and I'll put 12 on the anchor. Okay. Next, we have a set. And unfortunately, I have to sell it as a set, or it would just be weird. Okay, we have another one of the little beating heart diamonds. Um, faux diamond, which would be like a CZ. And with that, we have the earrings. Aren't they pretty? If I can get them turned. Come on, there we go. Isn't that neat? And they quiver. Let's see if they say anything. I don't see a maker mark, but these are just too cute. Hmm. These are nice. These are nice and shiny. They are like brand spanking new. 
Let's see if this one says 925. There we go. Flip them over here. So this is what we've know. It is all sterling, except for that one little. These are all sterling. These are so cute. That's pretty. And they shake as you move. And I don't see a maker mark. I wondered. I could have sworn there was something. Nope, just 925 on them, and that's it. But this set right here is. Let's just put 22 on this. So you got earrings, and these can go in a box. That's pretty. So I'll set that over here. And that was 22. Then we have, we have some rings here. And I think the earrings can go pretty quick. Is that all the rings? Yes. Okay, so the rings that I have, these are two kind of little classic. I'll show you that there, definitely all these are sterling. This one is only, it's this, oh gosh, what would she show me? There's a piece that goes across the top. Yeah, something was different with this one. Um, let's see, I've got time to check this. Hold on here. Yeah, this is one of the ones I just got. Sterling. Okay. Just like everybody have a sterling and a gold tone. I mean gold. It's not doing very well. But that's alright. If it doesn't, I can take it back. I think that's sterling, but we shall see. Let's see. Mm. That's weird. I don't think it is. That girl's going to be surprised. It does say, of course, 925. So, it's pretty nonetheless. It is, I'll get it, give you a size and we'll sell it like it's not. 925, just in case it isn't. This is seven and a half. This is like a marquee cut. I haven't cleaned this or anything. And that's what it looks like. It's very pretty. And we'll put, what, six bucks, five bucks? Yeah, let's do five bucks. Five dollars for that one. Let's see. Yeah, it makes me nervous now. Oh, yeah, that's definitely silver. These are, some of these are rhodium plated, but you can still tell they're sterling. I do believe. Okay, then we've got this one. We've got this one. And we've got this one. Yeah, this one is the rhodium plating. Oh, I know all those are, because I can tell just by the way they scratched. Okay, let's try it. This is this one here. This one is that one here. K. 
Okay. The one that I think might be rhodium plated. Let me get a better one. A Q-tip that doesn't look like it's been mangled. Okay. This is the first one. Yep, that's the rhodium plated. Okay, then there's this one. We've got red on that. Then we've got these two and that one, that one, and that one. First one is this one. Oh yeah. Looks like somebody has a little blood drop just like that one. And then we've got this one here. Can you see it? It's very, very obvious. Okay. So we're good to go on these. And I try to keep this stuff pretty clean. You know what I mean? So that we don't mix chemicals or do anything like that. Okay, we're at 30 minutes here. Let's get this done. Let's get her done. Okay. So we have, this is just a red stone with some CZs, but I thought it was very pretty. It is a nine and a half. I'll show it to you up close. Isn't that pretty? And it should be, I'll weigh it here in just a second. I don't like that noise. Okay, this weighs four grams. Let's put 15 on this one. Very pretty. Very big. Nice big one. This one is also a nine and a half. This one does not, I don't think this is anything, but it's easy. It's awful big. <laughs> it's just easy. This is pretty. Look at that. Not darling. Okay. Nine and a half, three grams. The beautiful pinks and the little clear stone. Let's do 15 on that one. These two will go together. These are so cute. Aren't those darling? We've got a stone, kind of a golden stone in that one. Goldish pink. And it is a nine and a quarter. This one has kind of like a gold wash over the top. And this one is right at nine and a quarter too. So these are like the same size. Um, look, you can wear them like that. That's pretty cool. So these are, let's see. 12 a piece or 20 for both 12 a piece $20 for both then we have just a plain band sterling silver really nice it could be for your thumb you know what I mean a thumb ring it is a size that is right at an eight and a half it is four grams, so we'll put 17 on that one. I don't want to do 20 because there's no, you know, like pretty stuff on it. It's so plain. Okay, we have this pennant with marcasite. The stone inside it is a mystery stone to me, and I've actually seen this exact set before. And I don't think they knew what the stone was. 
I was thinking it was Laramar, but I am just not sure. This says 925 NV 925. Um, these both have kind of a different color combination, almost like you would see a Jasper, and the one beside it would not be quite, you know what I mean? Because I don't think it is jade. I just don't. This has a beautiful, very super shiny chain. It is a tiny box chain, but it's gorgeous. Box chains are very, very heavy. They are um, very secure. This is 18 inches. This set right here is, let's go for 30 on this for the set. I don't want to break that up either. That would not be smart. So we got 30 on this. Push it down a little bit. Okay, earrings. It's going to be quick. Earrings, earrings. Here we go. I'll just point them out and tell you the price. These are so cute. These are like super light and super silver. Okay. Then we have hoops. Kind of the old-fashioned hoops. Let's put them there. These have all been tested. These are like the um, diamond electro cut hoops. Very nice. Um, let's see. These are beautiful and very unusual. On a French wire. See what those mean? These are two little crosses on the French wire, French hook, whatever you want to call it. Very pretty. Isn't that nice? There are those. Okay, these are on a 925 hook. These look like, I don't know. These look almost like a darker blue Laramar. I'm not sure what these are. They're cold and they're stones. They are 925. They're about an inch dangle. Okay, we have the pine cone with the little pearl. I'll show you up close and I'll go through and give you pricing. The pine cone on the little pearl, just darling. And we have these kind of a um, textured design here on these two. Very pretty, very nice. So I'll put those there. You can see them. We have these um, let's see, let's set those over. Um, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Dang on it. Oh, these are moonstone. Because there's a pair that's moonstone, and then there was another pair that were more of a purple but I don't see um where'd they go oh here we go are these the purple these have a purple cast to them these are cabochons I have a set that's very similar but they're more of a white tone I think these are probably a, an older style amethyst cabochon here those are lovely I have some little window panes, little boxes. I have, let's see, there's that. Then I have turquoise with a filigree back. Aren't those pretty? I'll get these all laid out and then go through the prices and then we'll talk. I don't think I need this. Okay. We have a pair of, two pairs of screw backs right here. They're just too cute 
Very cute. They are not marked though. Okay, we have the abalone, kind of the mother of pearl. Okay, we have a little pendant here that is so cute. It's got um, almost like a sun, it's got like tri little triangle markings. The centerpiece is a circle, flat circle, and then these have that marking, little triangles. That's pretty. So that's a pendant. These are, these are cute. These are mother of pearl with a little star. And like I said, these are all sterling. This is a little sterling set with, um, this is what I think is Larimar. This is very light blue. These are tiny. I do have some bags. Um, we'll get that taken care of. Okay, next we have Mount Rushmore, which I think I'm just gonna keep. I just have a feeling Okay, these look like little tiny Hershey Kisses. They're just too cute. They're like little bells. And they're very, very precious, but they're tiny. Um, so when I go back through them, I'll try to give you time enough to um, be able to give me a time stamp and a prize. These two are just knots beautiful little sterling knots and you can tell i've cleaned one and not the other you can see tell me which one is cleaner there we go okay and these are a celtic knot these are cute these have never been cleaned either and it's got the little post isn't that cute? Okay. Put that there. And I have a, a capital D, and it's all ready for a charm bracelet. It is solid sterling, and it is, let's see here. Let's get that. I'll give you a size on that in just a minute. And these are cute. These are just little discs. Almost like a figure eight. Nine, two, five. They're just too cute. So we're gonna go through and price them all right now. And then we will do the giveaway. The D is actually, let's see, three grams. So I'll put the D there. Okay, we're gonna go through these. Okay, the pendant here, the little swirl pendant, I'm going to go ahead and put $6 on that. The charm, the D charm, I'm going to put 4 just because it's so, you know, a lot of people won't want it <laughs> unless they have a D or know someone. Um, these turquoise, they are heavy. There are six grams, and I'm going to put 25 on those. They are gorgeous. Okay. These are both screw backs. They are marked sterling. They are sterling. I tested them. So I'm going to put $6 a piece. $6 for that one. And $6 for the little, it looks like a little flower. This is like an AB crystal with a little swirl with that 60s filigree on it. And they are just too cute. And set those over there. Okay, next we have the little purple cabochons. And since they are so vintage, let's see, these say. Let's see. 
say 925 and a great big yeah those are 925 for the little pink purple light light purple cabochons I'm gonna do 12 on those okay let's see how big those are those are four grams for the hoops the kind of the the electric cut on these let's do 15 I know hoops go for quite a bit. Okay, these are very vintage. I do not think there's a maker mark on these, though. If anything, they might say Mexico. I don't see anything on the inside, but these are gorgeous. Okay, that should be doing it here. And those are seven grams. And I'm going to do 20 on those. Oh, put those right there. Okay, these little babies, these little cute things. These little things here, I'm going to do five. The little, almost like a figure eight disc. The Celtic Knot, they are older. They, I thought they said something. Hold on here. Don't move. Hmm. Nope. So I'm going to do, just because they're vintage, let's do 12 on those. Hopefully somebody will want those. Those are darling. Okay, the beautiful crosses. They are marked, um, I think it's just 925 and 5, there is an S with a line through it. I'm not real sure. So these are lightweight. Yeah, these are lightweight. These are beautiful, though. So, for these two, let's put, for these two, let's just put 10, because they are so precious. Um, I don't remember what these were marked. Hang on here. Oh, the backs are marked. Sterling. S T. E R, that's so crazy. I don't think there's any mark on these. Um, mm -mm. Just on the backs, so isn't that wild? Yeah. Huh. But these are older. Oh, it also says 925. The mark on this one has a, like a little round, like a flower. So these are probably Mexican and they are probably um, artisan made. I'll show them to you. They are shaped very beautifully. And they would sit on your ear just like that. They are four, right at four grams. So I'm gonna put 16 on these well let's put 15 on these okay set these there these are beautiful these are shiny and new looking um even though i really haven't done much to them um i don't think they say anything either mm -mm. That's why I couldn't tell what was the front or the back, but I'm sure that the um, front is. I think these are pretty old. Let's see. Yeah, these are lovely. Those cute, shiny. They'll show through your hair. Those are four grams, and let's do 15 on those. Okay, we have the pine cones, which I dearly love. Um, 
There are no marks on this except, nope, I don't see any marks. And they are real nice, they are real um, little tiny seed pearls. These weigh five grams. So let's put, let's put 15 on these. These little Laramar ones, like I said, I haven't even cleaned them, but I will put sterling backs on those and let's do six bucks on these little bitty guys. Okay, the knots, these are really a very classic design. This one's clean, this one isn't. It's not all the way clean, but isn't that amazing? Okay, these are heavier. These are about, well, they're not that heavy. They're about four grams. And I have sterling backs for them, and let's put $8. These little window panes are so cute. They are about two and a half grams, something like that. And let's put $7 on the little window panes. These cute little guys, these right here, let's do six on these. They're so soft. Those darling. These are vintage. I really like these. The star might mean something. I don't know. It says 925, and there is a mark, but I can't see it. And then the um, hooks are marked 925. So let's do 10 on these. Aren't they pretty? Very, very pretty. These are the mystery stones, but like I said, they are stones. They are sterling hooks. Um, let's just do five. I'm hoping somebody will like those. I love that blue for the spring. Just beautiful. Okay, the mother of pearl, abalone. They do say 925. Yeah, sure does. The hook says M C925. I'm not really sure what that's about. But these are cute. Let's do let's do ten on these. They're three grams. Yeah. Let's do ten. They're really, really sweet. Like little tiny flowers. Well, they're not tiny, but they're small. Then these cute little guys. These are $3, guys. $3. And they weigh probably nothing. <laughs> they weigh probably one gram. But yeah, these are cute. So we've got through what I'm going to sell right now as far as sterling goes. So we can get that out of the way. I'll put everything back up. Um, we will start on the blue box. I've got a couple of them. And I got another box. It's just a box. I think I got about five pounds of just plain jewelry. I've got some other stuff coming. So, don't forget about the showcase. It's right here. I'm going to put that over here. And I still have the other showcase. I think I put 35 on it. It's big. It's almost four pounds. I think it's three pounds, nine ounces, 12 ounces. I can't remember, but it's heavy. Um, so this is the instructions for the giveaway. I didn't reach my 350, which is not a problem at all. You guys are so, you guys are so entertaining and spontaneous and talk to me and do things and say things that are so sweet and I just enjoy you so much um I'm just gonna go ahead and do it I'm not stressing over it it's just you know life is too short so the giveaway 
is going to be this, okay? We already know there's three jade hearts in here, little bitty ones. Everything else that'll be in here is a surprise. It's a mystery. So you guys will have to pry the info out of the winner to figure out what they got. So I turned it around. I don't think you can see. Yeah, you can't see in it. But it's very, very pretty. It's very pretty. Nice. I'll show you the hearts. They're so pretty. This one, let's see here. Yes. This looks like Jasper. I'm not sure. But they're so sweet. So you will get these hearts. This. And some more little selected jewelry that I have put in there myself. There's definitely sterling in here. Um, can you hear it? Yes, there's definitely sterling. Um, there'll probably be a couple rings, a couple pair of earrings, a couple necklaces, and a bracelet or two. Okay? So, all you have to do is comment below this video and say um, what your favorite stone is, whether it's like a diamond, a ruby, um, whether you like onyx or turquoise. Just say, I love turquoise, or I love, um, what, a garnet, or diamonds, or whatever you want to put down there. And that automatically enters you. But that way I know you've watched the whole video. So, yes, so all you have to do is below, in the comments of this video, tell me what kind of stone you like. If you like more than one, Put more than one on there. Just say I like diamonds and pearls. Pearls are a good one. I love pearls. Um, so that will automatically get you entered. You can still, anybody that comments on wanting to purchase will also be entered in the video because it'll be comments. Make sure you're subscribed because I don't want to have to pull somebody's name because you're not a subscriber. That's the only reason why, you know, sometimes I kind of cringe at the thought that someone is not subscribed. They're just coming on for the giveaway. But you know what? If that happens, that's okay. Maybe they'll like it enough to where they'll come back and watch again and then tell somebody and they might subscribe. So it's all good. I don't care if you subscribe. Just watch it. Let me know how much you enjoy it, but don't forget, it's your favorite stone, okay? All right, we're right at one hour, guys. I've had so much fun with you tonight. Tomorrow night will be a blue box. Can't wait. Cannot wait. I might have to go through it because Tangle City. But anyway, you guys have a good night. We will talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye.